Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority App Guy. Picking out the right web browser can be difficult. There are a lot of options, and each option has its own set of unique features. So in this video, we're going to check out some of the best web browsers for Android. First up is Baidu Browser. In terms of looks, it looks like what you'd expect out of a browser. You can have window tabs or actual tabs at the top if you prefer. There is also a night mode, swipe navigation, and a decent list of tools and actions that you can perform. It's a solid browser with a pretty decent performance. We've also reviewed Boat Browser before, and coming back to play with it again left the same good taste it did last time. It has features like add-ons and themes, as well as a built-in app store. It's a solid browser option that also has a paid option if you need more features, but the free one is pretty good all on its own. Of course, we give the obligatory nod to the most popular browser on Android, and that's Chrome Browser. It offers direct syncing with your desktop version by logging into Google, along with a competent browsing experience. It has some swipe navigation, an unlimited number of browsing tabs, and it is a very solid and stable experience. Also, if you're going for the all Google experience, this is the browser you're going to want. Dolphin Browser is another popular web browser that has improved a bunch over the last year and a half or so. Not only is the browsing faster, but it has a lot of features including add-ons, gestures, and sonar. Sonar is a feature where Dolphin will use your voice to search the internet, kind of like Google Voice Search. It's unique and it even has themes. Firefox Browser is one of the most popular browsers on desktops and, predictably, one of the best on Android. It doesn't have any real off-the-wall features, but it does provide a very satisfying web browsing experience. It allows you to sync to your desktop version of Firefox to obtain your bookmarks, and there are add-ons that you can add as well. Maxthon Browser used to carry a little flack because it was included as bundled software on devices before, but we assure you, it isn't bloatware. Maxthon has a lot of features and most of them are behind the scenes, leaving you with just the browsing experience. There are add-on support and it is a solid browsing experience. Naked Browser may look simple, but it's no joke. It foregoes most of the features you'd find in these other browsers in favor of pure speed. The UI is very minimal and it does load pages very quickly and display them very well. There are no add-ons, no bloat features, or anything else. It just loads websites. So if you have an older device or simply don't want any of that other stuff, you should definitely give Naked Browser a try. As with most browsers, Next Browser focuses on speed. Unlike many of these browsers, it does this quite well. It also boasts a small footprint, so it's ideal for older devices who want better browsing without the more bloated options. There are add-on options if you need them, but overall, this is a very nice browser. We've reviewed Opera Browser a bunch of times, and that's because it's a really nice browser. It has all the features you'd expect in a browser and a relatively quick browsing experience. There are themes and add-ons, as well as the speed dial and discover features to help give you a more entertaining browsing experience. It's definitely worth a shot. Puffin Browser is definitely the wildcard app on this list. It works well enough on its own as a web browser, but it has some unusual features. For instance, there's a built-in trackpad and a built-in gamepad. During most of the year, you can only load Flash content during 12 hours of the day, and the other 12 hours of the day you have to deal without it. There are also add-ons if you need those. It's definitely an interesting browser. UC Browser has fairly impressive performance, and based on the sites it recommends when you open it, it's targeted to people who are not in the United States, which is actually quite refreshing. It includes some features like Speed Mode, which helps you browse even faster, and Auto Pager, which loads multiple pages at once, so multi-page articles are easier to read. Once again, I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority App Guy. Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you like this video, check out some of our other ones. You can find the written companion to this video, along with our social media links in the video description. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day.